ओके गाइस इट्स मी इमाद फ्रॉम नेल्सन डार्विन पाक टेक यूट्यूब चैनल सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द नम पाई एरेज विद इन दी पाई चाम द लैंग्वेज वी आर यूजिंग इज दी पाई थॉन सो फर्स्ट यू हैव टू इम्पोर्ट वन मॉड्यूल आर लाइब्रेरी दैट इज कॉल्ड एज दी नम पाई सो हाउ वी कैन इम्पोर्ट इट आउट फर्स्ट राइट इम्पोर्ट नम पाए is uh, you can create any object like uh, aa or anything uh, but uh, we will write like uh, an uh, npi okay so npi is our object and we have now we can now access this numpy with the npi okay after it we need to put a function okay so one more thing that we have to declare one more variable so we will take a variable that is called as a so we will write npi dot array so array is the function npi dot array is the function through which we will create numpy arrays now we need to put the list of the elements with is the parameter here you can see that we have put the square brackets within the round brackets why we have done so because round brackets contains the parameters of the array function okay so we we have put the square brackets so that we can put the parameters in the form of list so here we will write 1 2 3 okay and and what are list okay you you must know that list is a type of data collection okay like uh, in list we can we can like uh, have multiple data types multiple elements they are ordered they are not they are changeable they can be expandable as well so so this is the list even we can we can repeat the elements in that okay so we have write 1 2 3 or 1 2 4 or anything like that now now our and what about a a will become now now the numpy array so we will write type of a and uh, type of a function will give us that what's what sort of array it is what sort of array the a is okay so we will write print of type of a so and print function will print the type of a in the console so this is our python console so we will run it out so it gives us class numpy dot nd array so it is our numpy array okay now one more thing that so what about this array is it has just one row we can say it is Uh, it has one row and one uh, column so it is one dimensional okay it is the one dimensional array and uh, can we write print of shape of shape of uh, a so either it is going to work for us okay or import this name numpy dot shape yeah so it is shape of a so we have imported the function as well so we will run it out and now you can see that it is 3 comma uh, it is like 3 comma so it is one dimensional array it is one dimensional array so it is shown in the form of this now we will write some more example like uh, b is equal to npi comma array and we will make list like a 1 2 3 3 and comma 4 comma 5 comma 6 so one square bracket here and one square bracket here okay now we will copy these commands and we will write uh, them here so print of b and print of shape of b here as well so what they will give we will see so it says 2 comma 
two comma three okay now okay one more thing uh, if you want to print b directly okay uh, print b then what we will get so we got uh, one two three and four five six okay so it is first row and this one is second row okay now we will make a third row comma seven eight and nine then what it will give us it will give us three uh, rows and uh, three columns like uh, one four oh, this is first column second and third and this one is first row second row and the third row okay uh, can we increase some more rows and areas we can if we want we can okay 7 and 9 10 11 and 12 yes now we will see now you can see that now rows are 4 and columns are 3 so so shape uh, is uh, has given us 4 comma 3 and this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 11 12 so uh, although we can create simple arrays in python but why we are using these numpy arrays because they are pretty fast in computation as well like if there are millions of values within an array then it is best option to use these npr uh, numpy arrays it is far better than to use simple one so you can create this one okay one more thing in the last that either can we uh, take or can we fetch their single element yes uh, if you want to uh, print uh, the just one element uh, of what what is called as the uh, print uh, of array a then can we do it yes we can so if we will write a of one comma two okay wait so it, 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 it is false because it is like a wait it is not even one by one okay we can do it with b okay b is far better than a because so first row first column and all this so uh, we will write okay it says five so print b one comma one gives us five okay wait can we do it for like a print of b1 comma 1 so it is 0 1 0 1 okay so wait uh, i have to do it with like 1 comma 2 then what it will give it gives us 6 okay now can we can we go for like uh, 2 comma 3 then what we will get okay it's uh, saying index out of bounds okay so it must not okay we, we can go two comma two it's nine okay why it is so because it is this one is considered as the first element this is the second element this is the third element and this one is the fourth element like the complete rows okay so one comma one the first one is this one sorry it is zero zero one okay the first one is this one okay and second one is this one so seven eight and nine so zero one and two okay now can we go for like uh, uh four zero one two three three comma can we go for three comma zero okay either it will give us like a ten or what okay yeah it gives us ten why it is so because it is the it is our third row and it is our zeroth element okay zero column element okay so in this way we can uh, get the single element within the whole matrix or grid because why we can say it is a matrix or grid because there are multiple columns and multiple rows so hopefully you got the concept regarding how to create the a numpy grids or matrices or we can say arrays of multiple dimensions within the pie charm so thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe